Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. We have another fantastic build here. This is a follow up to a build we did about a year ago, Steve. Yeah, this is ProSource out of Texas. Yes, yeah, so ProSource Hydration contacted us over a year ago. We'll big football fan, played football, was looking to put something football related in their office. And we put together a helmet for them. It came out great. It was basically a white helmet with blue and silver chrome decals on it. Like it so much. They're back for another one this year. This could be the beginning of a trend. Mm -hmm. And they wanted all gold chrome on this one. So we're doing three colors on this helmet. This is gonna be class, 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 yeah. man. So we, what we've got here is we've got a matte white helmet, We've got gold and silver chrome decals, and we've got a gold chrome face mask. We're gonna put all some little extra components on here. This is basically gonna be the exact same look as the other one, except for the other ones in the blue and silver. And we've got a helmet hanger that we're gonna be putting with this helmet so we can bolt that onto the wall and have a place to display this thing too. Yeah, so let's uh, go over the pieces of this thing. Yeah, man. so before we get to that, what do we do here, Steve? So Steve, we build helmets in videos on YouTube we also sell face masks, visors, chin straps, all those pieces. We talk about all those pieces. We give you information about all those pieces so you can make the best informed decisions as far as what kind of helmet to wear and what kind of pieces go with that helmet and bolt it all on together. So check out some of, the, of our other videos. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, we do a lot of teams and a lot of custom stuff as well. So Steve, where to begin? Hmm. How about let's get all the decals on first. We are gonna start with the stripe and this is going on a size large riddell speed victor yeah so this is not a helmet that's going to be used on the field and with custom stuff like this you know price is always a factor and and kind of the best way to kind of get into something like this is with a youth helmet they look the same and they look fantastic once we're all done with them and then this is just one of those that is going to come out looking great Steve, does this remind you of that movie Aquaman? <laughs> I never saw it. it wasn't good. I've heard terrible things. It was, uh, I only saw a few minutes of it and I'm like, oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm usually a big fan of like, you know, the superhero movies and all that stuff, but that one. Couldn't do it. No. Yeah. Wonder Woman was, was great. I haven't seen that. All right, so there we go. Let's put some decals on the back. We're going to go with a matching American flag on the left. And I like to put it right on the, I don't know, the groove here on the mm -hmm. back of this helmet. Then, you know, a lot of the teams do that too. And I think it just helps, especially with a chrome decal like this, it helps reflect. It's all about balance, man. That's right. That's right. So on the helmet we did last year, Steve, the 14 was on the left. Right. Right? Correct. We are going to put the 14 on the right. Yeah, mix it up. It's a fancy one, right? This is, I'm telling you, this is going to be the classiest helmet we ever made. What kind of font would you say that is? Mmm, my goodness. Dude, I like it. All right, we don't have too many pieces left here, so let's go. We're gonna put a 3D bumper on here, green gridiron. We put one on the one last year, a black one with silver. This time we're going all white themed, so we're gonna stick with a white one. And we've got this gold chrome face mask. This was really the longest piece of the equation for the decals. Um, we called up our friends over at Healy Awards, mm -hmm. and they what was great about this one, they already had all the artwork in the system, so it was pretty easy for them to get them to us quickly. Uh, and then we had to get the mask chrome. We outsourced that after we put our coating on it. And it can take a little while. Steve, 
last piece, the chin strap. I normally put this in, but I forgot. No, nope, I don't want to scratch it. So here's what you do. If you don't want to take the mask off, just pop the buckle off. Easy peasy. <laughs> if you don't think of it, you'd be pretty angry right now. It happens, you know, it, it happens. What a unique look this is. I'm, I'm so just... Who, who could get away with this look? What team would you say? <sighs> I think maybe like a... 49ers. <sighs> that would look nice. I mean, that's obvious because I don't know, the gold. Saints. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do a Saints with like uh, even instead of silver, maybe some like purple or green mixed in there. Yeah. It is New Orleans after all. You're right. This would be a cool color rush type design for somebody in the NFL. It's really, really nice. Let's go over the pieces of this guy. It's pretty simple. This is a this is a Riddell Youth helmet. It's a Victor. We've got a gold chrome S2 BDC face mask on here. We've got a Shock 1.0 visor. We've got Under Armour unbranded white clips. We've got a Shut Hard Cup Elite chin strap. We've got decals which are fantastic by Healy Awards. And then we've got a 3D bumper with the green gridiron logo on it. Am I missing anything, Steve? I don't think so. I, I'm just still trying to process this. It's so different from the one that they did last year. And I wasn't it's, sure, but this looks amazing. It's super simple as far as the color scheme goes. It doesn't have too much going on. I think this is one of those things where less is more. It looks absolutely fantastic. So Dustin, thank you very much for allowing us to put this helmet together for you. I can't wait to see how this looks in your shop and you know maybe we'll do another one for you next year i don't know i think you've got great ideas and you've got a good color eye because you were the one that picked out the gold i don't think this is one color scheme that i would have chosen but now that i see it i think we need to do this with like a with like a team's helmet thank you so much for watching leave some comments below let us know how you, you like this helmet uh and like subscribe click the notification bell see more videos like this until next time cheers cheers